I'm gonna be having 50 milligrams, okay? Each one of these little gummies is 10 milligrams, so I'll have five of them. I'm gonna eat another five. I am that confident that these edible medicinal herbs cannot affect me in any way whatsoever. Oh, I'm stoned to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Got that on camera. <laughs> Recently on YouTube, I'm sure a lot of you realize that I have been going extra hard. So I figured we'd take it down a couple notches and do an easy challenge that a lot of people have been suggesting in the comments. And of course, I'm talking about consuming a large quantity of edible medicinal herbs, which just so happened to be perfectly illegal in the state of Michigan in which I live and in no way violate the YouTube community guidelines because this is an experiment for educational and entertainment purposes only. For those of that don't know, when the average person consumes these edible medicinal herbs, the active ingredient, which we will not name, causes the average person to lose a lot of their mental acuity and in general just makes them a dumber person. However, that is not true for me because these weak medicinal herbs have no effect on the overly large brain in my skull. But I'm sure you're all asking, Houston, how are you gonna prove that these edible medicinal herbs have no effect on your immense brain power? Well, it's really quite simple. I have three control tests that I'm gonna have to do before I consume the herbs. And then after I consume the herbs, I'm gonna have to do the same three tests over again, which should prove that they had zero effect on my brain. Also, we'll be finishing this video with a mock job interview in which you'll all decide in the comments if I get the job. <sighs> Let's get to the tests. Tell me, Jake, what's the first control test? We're gonna do a problem solving test with mm -hmm. puzzles, 24 yeah. pieces. <sighs> Sounds easy enough. I will time you in whenever you're ready. Go. <laughs> okay, it's a little Spidey and Friends, huh? Spidey and Friends. Spidey and Friends. Spidey and Friends. I know Spidey Man and Friends. It's trending. Oh, look at the size of those pieces. Okay. Look at that. First piece done. Okay. My Spidey senses are telling me that second piece goes here. My Spidey senses never fail, Jake. They're tingling. No, they're not tingling enough. Yeah, I need to see all my options. I just need to, okay, team up. Team up on top. Of course they would team up. Spidey Man and Friends always team up. Oh. Mm-hmm. 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 Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all coming together now. Oh, yes, yes, okay, that guy, that guy's important. No, 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 it would've been too obvious. Right there, bring it together. Here we go, here we go. Now, we're almost done, we're almost done. Why are you breathing like that? I'm getting nervous. Uh, no, no, that wouldn't make any sense, but this does, this makes sense. No, it doesn't, what am I having? It's gotta be this one. Okay. Beautiful, home stretch. Get ready, stop the time, get, get ready, stop the time. It's all. It's done. <laughs> 420, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I did that intentionally, so that should speak to my intelligence. Stopped it right on the cool stoner time. <laughs> All right, Jake, what's my next test? For the second test, Houston will be drawing on this canvas the outline of this seahorse. What's this testing? Your creativity. Ah, yes. Let's see your creative skills in action. See, I like to start with the tail. I'm a tail kind of guy. Beautiful. Seahorses take a lot of pride in their tails, Jake, and you don't want to mess that up when you're doing the, the drawing. I'm learning so much from you. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, my art history class in college really opened my eyes to the world of art. You know, I then toured museums around the world. I mean, I don't want to brag, but uh, I'm a pretty good artist. Going on to the body right now, and I see already I have a problem. My canvas is a little small, but <laughs> art is, you know, about compromise, okay? And this is challenging my creativity, so I got to get creative with the piece at this point. So he's gonna have a little short neck. <laughs> you know, a little, a little <laughs> tiny neck. A little tiny neck, you know. Looking good, looking good. Wow. Got a nice jaw. This seahorse has a nice jaw line. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I just like the little neck. It's almost complete, Jake. Pretty good. Let's show you, show them the, you know, the, the sample, and now we'll present them with the final piece. Art. Maybe stick to bodybuilding. All right, Jake, what's the final test? The third and final test is memorization test using this small bop it. Can you bop it? Oh, I can bop it and I will bop it. Let's begin. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. 
Pull it! Pull it! Pull it! Pull it! Pull it! Bravo. This is actually testing reaction now that I think about it. I'm going to sleep. Tell me something, girl. Sorry. Anyways, it's now time for me to consume the edible medicinal herbs. Now, this particular edible medicinal herb I got from a nice little dispensary near where I live because it's legal here. Uh, as you can see, it's unopened. There we go, now it's opened. Now you might be asking, Houston, how much of these edible medicinal herbs are you going to consume? It's a good question. I'm gonna be having 50 milligrams, okay? Each one of these little gummies is 10 milligrams, so I'll have five of them. Uh, I think that's a adequate dose. For most people, it probably would get them sick, make them puke. For me, absolutely nothing. Oh, you can do it all at once. Of course. As you can see, five gummies, 50 milligrams of edible medicinal herbs down the hatch. Oh, these are delicious, holy smokes. Why stop at only five? All right, now we gotta wait 30 to 45 minutes for these bad boys to kick in. But as we wait, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Sportsman Guide. For those of you that don't know, Sportsman Guide is your one-stop shop for anything outdoors, hunting, fishing, you name it, they have it. Like literally, they even got trench coats. Trench coats are cool. So if you wanna help support my channel and get some awesome outdoors gear in the process, make sure you click the link down below and use code HOUSTON20 at checkout to get a little bit of money off your purchase. Thanks again to Sportsman Guide for sponsoring this video. Thank you. So we're an hour in now, and I gotta be perfectly honest, I thought those edible medicinal herbs, 50 milligrams of them, would do at least a little something, but no, nothing, absolutely nothing. Look at how awesome and clear these eyes are. Immaculate. So I'm going to do a cardinal sin now. I'm gonna eat another five. I am that confident that these edible medicinal herbs cannot affect me any way whatsoever. So what better way to prove it than, you know, eating the entire bag of gummies. Hey Houston, I got the supplies for the next video. What are you doing? I wasn't feeling anything, so I decided to eat the rest of them. Well, you're gonna feel it now. No, no I won't. Too much brain power, Jake. Did not approve of this. Should I be worried? So to pass the time a little bit as I wait for that second dose to maybe do something, I got this fun little metal puzzle here, as you can see. I just gotta get all these rings untangled. Could all do it lickety split. <laughs> You've been doing this for a half hour. I know. Sure you're not high? No, I'm disappointed. Wow. Myself. We're gonna give a little bit more time for the full dose to kick in, suppose. <gasps> if it does kick in, excuse you. I'm very sorry, Pierre Burps. So as I was saying, we're gonna give a little bit more time for the full dose to potentially kick in. And in the meantime, I asked on Twitter for some questions to ask me. Uh, so Jake, uh, fire away, ask me some questions. What does it take to become the world's strongest bodybuilder? Some people say you're born with it, and I tend to agree. Look at me, I'm just a specimen. You can't train to hit this level of raw physical ability. It's impossible. Question number Number two, when will you switch roles with Mark? <sighs> Mark can't handle the heat, but we will do one video where I get to hit him a bit. So soon, hopefully, I just gotta talk him into it. Who is the closest person to you in terms of strength? <sighs> That's a tough one, you see. When, you, when you're so high in the strength scale, the next closest person is way down here. I'm, I'm gonna give it to my old pops though. <sighs> Papa Jones. Big he, Papa Jones. Tough man, tough man. But he's way lower than me, I just want that to be clear. You, you know, maybe you can put then right underneath my dad, you might be able to get like the mountain from Game of Thrones or Eddie Hall. There's somewhere, somewhere down there that the world's strongest man winners, but they're pretty far down. How many hot dogs can you swallow whole in 10 minutes? At least six dogs dude, can slide down this throat. Six dogs down the And goal. I think that's a conservative estimate. I can sling some, some dogs down my throat if I really wanted to. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Have you in a diaper more as a baby or as an adult? At this point, uh, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Damn, I've pooped myself a lot as an adult, haven't I? Yes, you have. Wow, and it's all documented. Um, if you could be any muscle, which would you be? I'd be a 
big fat glute, man. <laughs> thick. It's a thick glute. Glutes matter, especially on men. Wait. <laughs> Did you ever do any modeling? Modeling. Have I ever done any modeling? You could say I've dabbled. Dr. Jones, there you are. Quick, hurry. Come into the room. What are we working with? Uh, our patient has a broken heart. We need you to operate fast. Do you have a beer? Listen, I was off shift. They just called me in. I had Saturdays, you know, it's for the boys. All right. Oh God, yeah, this is a bad case, huh? Yeah. This man's got a broken heart. He's got more than a broken heart. Well, that was the man. Where's your mask? <laughs> We're operating I'm right now. I'm sorry, I lost it. Okay, okay. Oh geez, where to start, where to start? You know, you always want to get the water out of. It's a good save. Oh God, I'm gonna be honest. I hardly made it through med school. What? You said you're the most qualified. I, I, I lied. Okay. You don't never want bread on your on your penis. What do you think next, doctor? You're the doctor. You're a cook to assistant doctor. Oh, wow. I'm, I think I'm. I think I'm getting a, a thing for this. Here was helping. Oh, oh God! Did we lose him? Did we lose him? Oh God, no, no! Okay. <laughs> we'll tell the family it was their fault. Is that a passing grade though? Yeah, it's, it's like four out of 10. Yeah! <laughs> you ready to lose, Mr. Jones? Shall we begin? Let's. Wait. Wait goes first. Also, two hours since uh, the beginning of this experiment, and now it's time to play the most epic chess game of all time. Prove my mental faculties are in check. We shall I'll, see. I'll begin. Ah. This is gonna be rough. Sacrifice him too. We'll take it. Didn't even think about that one, yeah. <laughs> Ten. No. Treat you coward. Just try. Protect your king. <laughs> <laughs> Protect your king, damn it. <laughs> yeah, the king just f***ed himself in whole. <laughs> Take my horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yes, 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 yes! I just want to say I'm embarrassed that I lost to Houston after consuming 100 milligrams of edible medicinal herbs. But if you could go ahead and like the video, then I'll have at least one small victory today. Thank you for your time. Hello. Hey. Me again. I lost a chest. I'm a little salty. <laughs> Let me make Houston do another puzzle. 48 pieces. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> it's the other 24. Ah! 24 piece puzzle. Baseline test round two. I'll start the timer. And let's see if you are as good as you once were. What was last time? <laughs> Oh yeah, 420. 420? How yes, can we forget goodness. that? Thank goodness it was such a memorable time. How can we forget? <laughs> Timer's going and are you ready, Mr. Jones? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Still not how you open the Oh no, I need the picture. Damn it. Oh no, I broke one of the pieces. <laughs> is already starting off poorly. You broke multiple pieces. Oh my god. That's good. That's a good start. Oh no. I broke another one. Some of these pieces are wonky. They don't fit together right. Don't hate the puzzle, hate the player. Just use your imagination and buy better, buy better puzzles next time. Are you talking crap about Walmart puzzles? Okay. Apparently. I spared no expense on these puzzles, so I'll have you know. They're very high quality. This has got to be that corner. This is looking right. Okay, nice. Oh, I got 
got like half of it, huh? No, 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 no. This is all wrong. It was going so well too, Jake. I believe in you. There's, there's just not enough pieces. Come on, Houston, you're so close. I'm so confused. No, no. What happened? Oh, this one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but it's just, it's just more questions are appearing. It's just gotta be like down here. Oh, thank God. Come on, Houston, dude. Use your- Am I, uh, am I missing a piece? Oh, use your immaculate brain. Yes. <laughs> No! <laughs> Use your brain. Here. Yes. Okay, okay. Stop the time. 509. <gasps> you have, in fact, gotten worse. Uh, what happened to me? I fell apart in the second half. Leave. I don't think that means anything, though, uh, in the grand scheme of this experiment. I think that we can just throw out that test. Except uh, problem-solving tests become more difficult after 100 milligrams of <sighs> edible medicinal herb. Baseline test number two, creativity. Well, snail with instructions. Is this me, really me being creative if I didn't make the drawing? You wanna just draw something freehand out of your own brain? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. Draw yourself. How do you view yourself? Okay. Yes, yes, but more ear, yes. This is not going well. This is not going well. Come on, you got this. It's looking like I'm drawing ovaries or something. I don't think. I just gotta sketch a little bit quicker, you know? It's gotta get more into the ar artistic flow of thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. It's an abomination. No, it's you. It's got <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, this is an abomination. All right, I think it's done. You're ready to unveil your art? I think things got a little bit shaky there, but I think it came around in the end, and I want you to be an honest critic. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Let the audience judge, you know? Which one was better, A or B? Seahorse or he? Give him a closer look at this beauty, beauty though. Look at that. Come on. You did good. Available on Patreon. Don't say that. The third and final baseline test for Mr. 100 milligram Houston is Bop It, which will test his reaction speed. Ready when you are, Mr. Jones. Okay, my score to beat is 51. Here we go. Solo. Bop It. Twist It. Pull It. Well, I could have. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't mean anything. That's okay. You tried your best. I would say the 100 milligrams had no effect. It was just your bad reaction. <laughs> Here's <Stan. laughs> what are you doing? Where did you get a chicken? <laughs> I got the munchies. <laughs> Want a leg? No, actually, the legs are the best part. I take those. Oh, damn. <sighs> Well, this has been enlightening, but we're on to the, the final test, the mock interview, where you'll determine if Houston was affected by this 100 milligrams of edible medicinal herb at all. Are you ready, Mr. Jones? Dude, I've been waiting. Man. All right, all right. Well, thank you for coming in today. As you already know, here at Diversity Hires, we're looking for candidates that are intelligent and open-minded. As I am. So, uh, Mr. Jones, can I call you Houston? Yeah, you may not. Okay, yeah. well, Mr. Jones, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do? What do I do, you know? That is a... That is the question, uh, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of things, really, but at the same time, not so many things. I like to see myself as, you know, an enigma, if you will. It exists outside the bounds of normal thought, you see. Um, where was I going with that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyways, um, what's the question again? I'll just move on. No, 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 <laughs> give me, just give me one more chance at it. What was it again? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about no, yourself. No. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do? What do I do? Yes, yes, what do I do? Houston? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Chicken, I was thinking about chicken. Uh, let me ask you this, what don't I do? I don't know, you haven't told me a single thing that you do do. Well, I don't, I don't see why I gotta justify what I do to you. <laughs> I'm the one conducting this interview. Oh, it's a, it's a touchy subject, can we go to the next question? Sure. What are your biggest weaknesses? 
oh, I don't have weaknesses. They just don't exist. In fact, I, you know, hardly even understand the word. Do you do know what weakness means, correct? Is that Spanish? What about your biggest strengths? All of them. <laughs> when you've accumulated as many strengths as me, you know, even I lost track of all my strengths. I just could go on forever. So I might as well not even get into it. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? <sighs> five to 10 years, yeah. Woo! Okay, imagine this. I'm in Antarctica 10 years from now. You know what I'm searching for? Atlantis. But guess what? I already know Atlantis isn't there. What I was really searching for was aliens. The Atlantis story was a cover story. I'll be searching for these aliens to make first contact. And that's where I see myself in five to 10. Well, I can't say any other candidate has ever answered that question in such a bizarre manner. So, applaud you for your creativity. Thank you. Do you have any questions for me or for the viewers out there? Questions? Uh, I passed, right? I was a passing. Did I get the job? I got the job? Uh, I'll let you all decide. Comment below. Did Houston pass the interview? I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I kind of forgot what we were doing partway through that thing. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? Oh, I'm stoned to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> Got that on camera. <laughs> no, don't use that. I'm being framed. He made me say it. It's a trap.